Hi, welcome to Artie Crafty Alchemy. Today I am sharing with you my second haul from England. This one's from the works. I'm the Artie Crafty Alchemist. Let's get started. First up, I got some Crawford and Black watercolor paper. It is 300 GSM, cold press, and there are 12 sheets. I think from memory this was three pounds, but I am not sure. I don't have the receipt for that one. Then I got the Ombre Designs Pastel. If you've seen my The Range haul, you would have seen I already have the brights. And these are the pretty pastel ombre designs. And there are 30 sheets and 10 different designs. So three of each. Sorry for the rustling, that's my cat. It was killing me at the works because they had so many gorgeous 12 by 12 paper pads. But because of space, I couldn't buy the ones I really liked and they didn't have most of them in 6x6 so instead I grabbed a couple of the 6x6s that I like. This is one of them and this is Dreamy Feelings. And I also got English Roses, pretty pink flowers. I really was trying not to buy pink things but it just came home with me because it's roses. And then I got this stamp set with the giant peacock and that was two pounds so close to four dollars. The same with this, this is a triple layer flower and it came with inks. I actually planned to use this while I was in England but didn't get a chance to. These tags were really cheap so I got these, I think they were a pound and this size are pretty expensive here for 50 tags so I thought I would grab them for things for the store. I got these shaker sequin packs, they were one pound each. This is mini confetti jar and they are circular white iridescent and then the star white iridescent. They did have gold and silver but I didn't actually like what they were made out of as much so I just grabbed those two. This decoupage sheet was down to 50p so around a dollar. I thought that was a good bargain and grabbed it. The watercolour pad was two pounds. I just found the receipt for that. I grabbed this holographic 10 pack A4 card. There's different colours. Gold, silver, copper and rose gold. For two pounds or close to four dollars I thought that was a bargain and I just really loved that holographic cardstock. Next up I have some dies. I got these border dies for three pounds. That's between $5.50 and $6 Australian. The same with these stitched labels. I don't have any stitched labels so thought they might come in handy. Then I got a mermaid for two pounds. I got a big thank you on sale for two pounds and I got this love word on sale for two pounds. There was lots more I wanted to buy but I was being very good and I didn't make it to another works near the end of my stay or I might have been a bit bad. <laughs> Next up I got this die cut book. This one was two pounds. It comes with your card base and your layering pieces and you can mix and match whichever ones you'd like to throughout this book but they all punch out. We've got rectangle cards and square cards, and flowers and birds, all sorts of weird and wonderful things in here. So I grabbed this because I thought it would make some lovely cards. And I just love how you can pop out all the pieces and mix them and match them however you like, or you can just go with what they have there and make one page from the bits that they have on each page. And that was two pounds. And they give you ideas on the back of what you can make with them. Next, I got this kit and I've already used it. I will hopefully be able to insert the picture from what I made at some point here. <laughs> I have this little bit of leftover paper. This kit comes with ribbon, feathers, a sticker sheet. This is the rest of that piece of paper that I used. All the papers are double sided. There's the second sticker sheet. I popped this out contemplating using it but I ended up going with something else. I have the owl and the flowers. We'll go through the papers first. This was an A4 one that I've already used. Then there is this polka dot one with happy and the papers are quite heavyweight. Feathers on the back. Pineapple and a little pineapple on the corner with craft paper. Leaves XOXO and cacti on the back. You make me smile. Little blobs. 
stripes and a cacti, leaves and together is our favourite place to be and looks like the end of a dream catcher. A flamingo with stripes and black polka dots on pink with smile. Chevrons and dream catcher, hummingbird, feathers. And then we move into the A5 size. Do what makes you happy. Blobs on the back. Feathers, gems and flowers. Flamingo. Pink stripe. White polka dots on black with the dream catcher. Blobs again. Another beautiful frame with hummingbird and flowers. Pineapples and love. Feathers with a big feather on the back. Feathers with black stripes. Beautiful floral. That's the side I use. Cacti with a soft background and triangles and then we have the die cuts love is all you need like this was on the bottom of the sheet of paper I used which is what I used to make the card and you'll notice there'll be another die cut missing as well that I used succulents and flowers there's the die cuts that I used I don't know where that flower has gone I didn't end up using it up oh, there it is stuck on there and that's where the owl came from and then this tag sheet you get an awful lot in the kit for three pounds and i wish i'd grabbed the other one that was there but i was trying to be good and then i also grabbed this luxury paper stack there was two of these and again i was being good and only grabbed one this one was four pounds so nearly eight dollars and it has eight die cut sheets two vellum quote sheets eight designer papers and one sticker sheet i again made a card with this so hopefully i can get the pictures off my phone and add them in that is one of the pieces of paper and that is the one i used and we have die cuts of raccoons and unicorns balloons gems succulents dream catcher llama feathers birds owls blimps, planes, lanterns and that's where I pulled a couple of the pieces out. Some more gems, happy birthday with love, sunflower, sheep, bike, ladybug and then I used this piece here that said thank you and we have some toppers, enjoy your day, be creative, hope your birthday is full of love, sunshine and laughter for you, have a good day, panda, floral clusters and then we have the quotes which are on vellum and very hard to read so I will stick some paper behind there. We have once upon a time for you. I hope your birthday is full of love, sunshine and laughter. Wishing you a happy birthday. And then we have the second sheet. Sing a song of birthdays full of fun and cheer. May you keep on having them for many many happy years. Hugs and kisses. A hundred hearts would be too few to carry all my love for you. Happy birthday with love. Lots of vellum sentiments. Then we have the rest of the pieces of paper. We have this beautiful watercolour green, blue and purple. Llamas and cacti. Another beautiful watercolory one. Yellow triangles. Multicoloured triangles. Leaves on a green background. Triangle geo shape. And these are super thick cardstock weight. And then a big sticker sheet. Again, I'm wishing I'd gotten another one of them. Maybe next time. A different one of them. They had different ones. And then I had three packs of Christmas washi that each have eight washi tapes in them. They were three pounds each, so that makes them less than six dollars and each roll less than a dollar. I'm going to grab this scrap piece of paper. Each roll is three meters long and this one is bows and holly and mistletoe and it has foil. This one is glitter polka dots laid with the green foil deer and the deer are foiled candy stripe and the green is foiled merry christmas is foiled these are all foiled <laughs> the green is foiled on those ones oh and i got a dodgy one always gotta be one polka dots and the christmas tree and the christmas trees are foiled that was my haul from the works i hope you enjoyed it let me know below what your favorite item was i would probably buy a bunch more stuff if i was at the works they're 12 by 12 paper pads are only three pounds each which is less than six dollars again <laughs> they have some gorgeous ones but space in mine and mrs suitcases was a premium we had craft stuff in both of them she had to bring some craft stuff home for me <laughs> 
wouldn't all fit in my suitcase. And I didn't bring everything home that I'd bought this trip or that was already at my fiance's house. The things that I left behind though were deliberate things for the next time I'm there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this look at my works haul. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to see more content like this and hit the bell notification to know when new videos come out. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.